Hey everybody, welcome back to Nerd News Today. I'm Matthew, and today we are taking a trip back to the past once again to look at an old figure that has now become new. Because today we're taking a look at this retro re-release from Playmates. And this right here is Pizza Tossin' Mike. Touted as the cheese chugging champ on the alliterative packaging here, I never had these pizza launching figures as a kid. And uh, I don't know why I didn't. I don't know if I was getting out of Turtles at the point that these guys came out. I don't know if I just didn't see them perhaps, or maybe my toy money went to other things, but I never had these guys here. So I'm curious to take a look at this for the very first time ever and see, well, if I actually did miss out on them or if maybe I made the right choice back in the day. So this figure among many, many others is a re-release from Playmates. Playmates is putting out a lot of retro turtle toys in the last few years. And right now they're doing a real big push. I mean, right now on shelves and targets, you can find the giant sized turtles, which include all four of the guys. Walmart has their own line of retro figures. Target's also got an elite series of six inch figures out there. There's a whole bunch of options for folks who want to pick up Turtles figures. And this one is one of the oddest, I feel like, one of the most peculiar figures to actually get brought back. Because, I mean, this guy sitting on a toy shelf, I feel like either a little kid's going to want it or be completely creeped out and weirded by the cringe that is in this packaging. I really can't wait to get him out of the box. So let's just talk about this packaging real quick. And honestly, it's so hard for me to actually take this figure out of the packaging because I love that old TMNT figure box art. This is beautiful. As hideous as it is, it is beautiful. And I say hideous because it's that, you know, early 90s kind of gross out style of drawing. And the figure itself, you can even say, is the same thing. But it's so cool to see it again. And it's so beautifully designed. And if you're wondering, there is a little Nickelodeon label on the top of the box just to make sure that no one gets duped if they try and buy it in the aftermarket. No one can try and pass it off as an older figure. Likewise, the back, same thing. You got Nickelodeon stamps on it. You have Twitter and YouTube logos and all that kind of stuff in it to make sure that no one gets confused. And back of the box again, really beautiful. I love all the pizza artwork that's on this. I've always missed the little like section about all the accessories, which are so cool, by the way. Even the weapons have little descriptions on them. Like I love the mozzarella nunchucks, of course the pizza tray launcher, but really the best thing is that cheese grate and power pistol. Are you kidding me? And these jokes are so horrible. They're great. Now you know how Swiss cheese got its holes. These dad jokes do not write themselves, folks. We get a little explanation of how the figure works, as well as a look at who else is in this line, because all four turtles did get into this line. And if all goes well, I'll pick up the rest of them too. But best of all, we do have a classic Playmates bio for this figure. I can't even do it justice reading it. Like, you just got to read this for yourself. Just sit down, read the whole thing. You're going to enjoy every minute of it. It's not just a nostalgia trip. It's just so wacky and silly. It's hard not to love it. And that's why it is so hard for me to have to take this figure out of the box, but I really have to. So I think without further ado, it's time to free this figure from its plastic prison, take a closer look at our pizza toss and Mike from all angles. All right, and here's our pizza toss and Mikey out of the package. Gonna do a quick rotation so you can see him from every side real quick. And man, I mean, I wanna call it a throwback figure, but it's not even a throwback figure because it actually is an actual throwback figure. Like we said, it's just a re-release of something that's come out a long time ago, but that's not a bad thing because this thing is just bonkers. I think that's the perfect word for this is, man, this is just like one of the weirdest, coolest, most 90s thing ever. I don't quite remember if this is like the very end of the 80s or very early 90s that this originally came out, but whatever it is, I mean, this just screams that era. It screams to me the, the times of gross out toys and action figures when that was in vogue. And man, what a fun time it was to be a kid back then. I don't know how I missed out on these figures, but somehow I did. So let's spend some time now taking a closer look at him. And I want to start with that face because, uh, well, that's a face that, uh, wow. I want to say only a mother could love, but really only Splinter could love. Look at that face. Look at that facial expression. And just, you know, as we kind of scroll down, look at the whole body, I mean, Man, what a fun toy this is. That's a word I don't really use a lot here because typically the stuff we're looking at is like high-end adult collectibles or not necessarily adult collectibles, but definitely maybe less fun oriented because they're meant to be more about the likenesses and the sculpts and all of that. But Pizza Toss and Mikey, this is a toy to be played with. Yes, you could totally just leave him in the package. That would be rather tubular if you did. But this is a toy that is best enjoyed, like I have him right here out of the box to just really be held and manipulated and to do stuff with because otherwise what's the point of these toys but yeah i mean look at this facial expression this is like sergio aragonez grew practically with his teeth and his face like this way the eyes are bulging out of the head and that's just so fun to look at what's kind of cool too is all the little pock marks that he has on his face like he's just dotted with holes not just on his face it's really his entire body 
like his arms have it, you'll see there too, as well as the signature turtle vascularity. This is the kind of stuff Vince McMahon would eat up. And uh, yeah, same thing with the legs too. Just like, these guys are ripped. These turtles are always ripped. And especially, you know, these pizza tossing guys, these are like, you know, thick boys. This is like Otis in uh, WWE right now. These are big, chunky figures, and that's so much fun. And not only that, they're just really bright too. Such bright, colorful, vivid colors. I mean, this really is vivid. This is just so indicative of the times it came out in. Uh, I do want to spend some time also talking about this pizza launcher. Look at that. <laughs> Look at how pretty that pizza is. Every pepperoni is painted. There's even, I think, maybe little mushrooms, possibly just grease. I don't know, but just lots of detail sculpted in the pizza launcher itself. Plus, there's also the pizza that's like hanging out of Mikey's mouth, which is also just like so silly and so classic Michelangelo. This toy, everything about it is just so fun. Now, uh, what else does this toy do here? Well, besides the action feature, he is still fairly decently articulated, or at least articulated enough. I mean, the head, let's see, does still rotate left to right. This left arm still goes up and down. That's about it for him. This right arm huh, also does go up and down, but that's part of the action feature we're gonna see in a moment. So, you know, that's whatever. There's no waist rotation, of course, and the legs do move, but they're, wow, talk about stiff out the box. So they are super stiff out the box. So that's cool. Let's just start putting some accessories into his hand right now. And first we have that cheese grate and power pistol over here. The uh, cheese grate and power pistol. Like, wow, what a weapon. And God, this is the kind of stuff you don't get with toys today. It's literally got like some Pecorino Romano or some Parmesan hanging off the top of that there. That's going into this cheese shredder. <laughs> the kind of thing you now would find in a pizzeria has been weaponized by the Ninja Turtles. So that's just gonna go into Mikey's hand just like that. That's done. And in addition to that, we also have his mozzarella nunchaku. Now I should mention too, there are instructions with this, which I should probably show you guys. And that'll be right over here. And this kind of does tell us that there is a proper way to do everything here. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be following these little instructions. So the ends of the mozzarella nunchaku do have little holes in them. And so you're actually meant to do this upside down because they're meant to connect I don't know if it makes a difference. I'm gonna do it this way, let's see if it makes a difference. But yeah, so besides just getting them in his hands, you can actually just plug them directly in to the pizza launcher on the bottom. And that is the intended way to actually have them there. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of fun. You can also put it in his hands too if you want. Uh, I'm gonna just leave them like this because I think that's just kind of cool the way it is. So that's the way it's intended to be done. But wait, there's more because we also have the pizzas themselves. We have six of these pizza pie discs, as they call them. You can see them right now, stacked on up there. It's a lot of pizza pies. And uh, I was wondering about this toy because I didn't have it as a kid. I was trying to figure out how it works. Now, I know that there is this little slot in the back to put them in, but I didn't really know what that meant beyond that. I was wondering if there's any batteries or any motorized features, that kind of thing. No batteries required for this. So all we gotta do is load up the shell and then I'll show you what happens next. And you can actually just slide them on in and they go just like that. I believe we can actually get all six in there. If you have more than six, you cannot fit any more in there. Uh, it's pretty much whatever's in there is the way it's meant to be. So I'm gonna just fill them up with all six of the pizza pies that came. And there's by the way, a good shot of that pizza also. Pepperoni, mushrooms, cheese. That looks really tasty. God, I want pizza. Let's stick them on in there just like that. And the way this guy's gonna fire is you're gonna pull back on this arm with the cheese grater. So I'm gonna do one just to show you what it's like. I'm gonna aim it right at the screen and hope for the best and that doesn't break my camera. Here we go. Three, two, one, now. And that pizza went flying, by the way. So yeah, that was pretty awesome. I don't know which way to point him to like best show you how to launch it. Like I think what I'm gonna do here is pull out for a second just to show you kind of the, the power of this pizza launcher here. Right over here, I've got the back of the packaging. Actually, I'm gonna use that as like the backdrop just to show you guys like how high impact this actually is. Ready, here we go. That is powerful. Do you, do you see how much power is in that? That is crazy to me how hard he's shooting that. That's, that's why it's a 90s toy because you wouldn't be able to get away with that in today's toy environment. Look at that. Yeah, definitely do not aim this at children or your eyes or anything like that. All right, that's all of them. Wow, that is awesome. What, an, what a powerful little weapon. I was not expecting it to be that strong and powerful. See, I think I got them all. Let's make sure, fire one more. 
Nope, there was one more hiding in there. Okay, there was one more. Uh, man, wow. <laughs> that is so strong. Man, you just don't get that with toys today. Probably for the best, because, man, you really could probably murder somebody with that these days. But wow, what an awesome, awesome pizza toss and action figure here. Great sculpting, great action feature, which is something like, man, you just don't get with most adult collectibles these days. And yeah, this still is an adult collectible, as much as we might want to consider this a collector's item and an adult collectible, it also still is a toy. It is very much a playable toy. So if you're an adult collector who has kids of your own, this is a great way to start passing on the fever, start passing on the toy collecting bug, and more importantly, share the joy of turtle power. You gotta keep the turtles going, we gotta keep making sure that the youth, as they like to call them, know about the TMNT, know about the Ninja Turtles, and this is like a great way to introduce it to them, and especially have a lot of fun playing with them. But even as an adult, you're gonna have a ton of fun with this yourself. You're gonna have a hard time not launching a pizza every single place you possibly can. So yeah, I definitely recommend you guys check these out. These figures are only available in Target, I believe. So you're gonna have to go to your local Targets to find them or visit Target's website to see if there's any in stock near you. And I recommend you guys grab them up because turtles are always hot stuff. So until next time, I'm Matthew. This has been Nerd News Today. That's our Pizza Toss and Mikey from Playmates Toys. Until then, we'll see you guys next time. And cowabunga.